So example two, it gives us all of that stuff. What do you think is the first step? Finding the z value, very good. So have you ever seen this before? No? On your normal distribution, the so if we rearrange this, that's like the amount, that's the amount in there on either end. Now we need to get the Z score from that. Any ideas? Menu five. There it is. So the area is zero point zero seven five. Yes, that is correct. We got there. So we have to use inverse normal to find the z value. So you're left with z equals 1.44. Okay, so now we have the z score from the calculator. What can we do? Just use that formula we used in the last example to find the confidence interval. Has anyone memorized it yet? Okay, and then we just shove shove in those values again. And you could just use your calculator Have a careful look at my statement. So the 85% confidence interval for veggies per day is, and see how I've used a different notation, I suppose, this time. I put the confidence interval in brackets. So just be aware of that 